Hi folks, it's Danny at Bradley James Classics and today's classic is a rather lovely example of the world's most popular two-seater sports car and that is a Mazda MX-5. Now this one is a launch edition from, as you can guess by the name, they launched the car in 2005. Um, worldwide they only made uh, seven and a half thousand in the UK they were allocated 300 now this is one of those 300 so it's fair to say that in time as per the other Mazda MX-5s the likelihood is this will be um, a sought after classic for the future because it is the special edition cars that people are prepared to collect aspire to own even and it's well worth it in this particular car because the launch edition they really did give it a fabulous um, specification and I will run through the difference between a launch edition um, and perhaps a standard car well for starters they did base the launch edition on the sport model to start with so the sport model was the top of the range model in the MX-5. They, they also did one for the SE which uh, was a slightly lesser version than the Sport. But um, so, so it's got the two litre engine uh, which is uh, the engine really to have in these uh, MX-5 Mark 3s. They do, they have 158 brake horsepower and quite legendary performance. Not necessarily just from sheer top end. I mean they're not a slow car but uh, you're not going to be racing Ferraris in these. However, the pure drivability of a rear-wheel drive sports car, which enjoys superb handling. Uh, the in initial Mark I car, of course, was based on the Lotus, uh, and we always never struggle to sell a nice example of those early cars. And you can see the underpinnings from that earlier car now they've got bigger and they have a lot more specification and a lot of differences from the very first of the, the MX-5 but they are legendary and, and I think if you're going to get one and you're going to keep it I think it would be a lovely idea to try and go for the launch model and benefit from all of those extras and the downstream desirability of having a special edition car. Now, I promised you a little run over of some of the extras now. Um, the launch edition does come in this uh, unique colour which is known as Velocity Red. Um, we've uh, spoken about its uh, low numbers, you're only going to find um, a small number, just 300 of these were created for the UK market um, and some of the extras that you find on this one compared to the standard model you have front fog lamps 17 inch alloy wheels you notice these chrome door handles you have chrome surround all around the headlamp the front fog have got a chrome trim around them as has that grille on the front um, interior wise the most attractive combination of red and black leather now that runs through onto the doors as well and you see the addition of chrome inside on around the speaker trims etc red leather seats uh, very swanky uh, also aluminium additions to round these vents uh, chrome rings here around the dials in the middle um, you have a leather steering wheel you can see this one's excellent um, and a leather gear knob and also uh, handbrakes around here we are six-speed gearbox and if we look really closely we'll see the unique plaque which tells us that this one is uh, 1,155 of 3,500. So that's a little different from the 7,500 that I thought were produced, but according to that plaque, it's uh, of, uh, I'm guessing that might be worldwide numbers, I'm not sure. Other trim in 
includes um, heated, uh, these leather seats are heated. Uh, you have a top line Bose Hi-Fi that can take six CDs and there's no less than seven speakers around the car which is rather fabulous and you can see that uh, interior wise it really is excellent. Now I've got a carpet mat here, it has got Mazda carpet mats and it is in very nice condition the interior. Um, Everything seems to have lasted well. And the car has covered now 82,000 miles. And the previous owner of this car, at a large expense, decided he was going to treat it to a, a factory hardtop. Now that's a great addition for this car because it really does give it more of a coupe like uh, driving experience. There's no creaking or twitching. I will be showing some photographs of the roof off the car but it's been colour coded to the rest of the car and hopefully you'll agree that it does look very smart with this hard top. Um, you've got a very large rear glass screen so visibility is good and I thought what I'd do now is just spend a bit of time slowly going over the bodywork and then pointing out any minor imperfections I may find. I've got to say that the back bumper looks to be in excellent condition and I'm not seeing any damage at all so far. That's on the corners. At the bottom of the bumper and the rear boot lid is all absolutely excellent condition, as is this offside rear corner of the car. Over these arches, all in excellent condition. And down at low level, that's very good. Looking down the side of these doors, that looks to be excellent as well. It's a very lovely paint job, depending on which way you look at it. It looks positively a little more orangey one way, and then if the sun shines the other way, it looks a little redder. So I suspect that's got uh, special edition paint. The bonnet is in excellent condition. There's a few very minor little stone chips if I get in very, very closely on the front, but these are fairly minimal front of the car does look very good condition. These flared arches on the front would be susceptible to some damage but again they're in excellent condition as well. In fact this car does shine up beautifully well. It's been very well looked after. And now I'm looking at the near side door which is all very good. And then the only place from certain right angles, I'll see if I can find it for you, we appear to have, oh it's very difficult to spot, but a very minor of small indents there, perhaps something just here, but again you have to have the light in the right position to see that. And now we're back at this near side rear corner and that's all excellent. The roof is in excellent condition with no scratches and damage, so I'll describe the bodywork as uh, excellent condition. Now the wheels. Now, we have got some curbing to some of these alloy wheels uh, and for these wheels to look as new, clearly they would require to be refurbished, but of course the frustration with alloy wheels is they do have a habit of getting curbed. So if you wanted them to look as new, um, you would be looking at having the wheels refurbished. However, they are perfectly acceptable as they are. I would imagine they haven't ever been done. I mean, they're not at the extent where they're heavily damaged however if you were to just take into account that all the wheels have got at least some minor curbing damage which unfortunately is rather common with these large alloys i've noticed there's the locking wheel nuts on them as well and having looked at all the tires they're all in very good condition the car will come with a fresh one year mot and so just to summarize this is a 2005 launch edition of a Mazda MX-5, 82,000 miles, uh, a full history and a stamped up service book. The car does come with the dealer handbook and it comes with two keys. The specification is uh, very good. We've just run through, being the launch edition, all of the extras which come with the car. But be on top of that, you've still got electric um, windows and central locking the car does have climate control uh, 
this has had an aftermarket Nokia hands-free kit fitted which uh, is a basic kit but that does seem to work perfectly well and you need to tune your phone into it it does have central locking it has electric windows and electrically adjusted mirrors so all of the usual extras of the sport model plus all of the additional extras of the launch model um, it drives beautifully well it makes a great sound there's no issues there's no warning lights all the cars we sell will go for our workshop for a thorough PDI before they leave us and you will be happy with how this looks and how this drives and buying it from Bradley James Classics does mean you will get the benefit of us being able to plug the car in diagnostically to make sure everything is healthy make sure the car is fully checked and completely roadworthy the one year fresh MOT will be peace of mind that the car has had an independent check from the ministry and she is good to go well folks if you can think of any other questions or importantly if you'd like to arrange to come and have a look and a drive of this car please contact me through the usual channels and I'll be delighted to show you this lovely MX-5 and uh, if you're looking at the car with the roof up we will be taking some photos with the roof off just so you can have a, a look at what that's like you have got a black canvas roof which comes up uh, to replace the hard top which you would probably have that in the summer setting and then probably towards the end of the year you can pop this hard top on and that truly does give this car the ability to be an everyday driver that can be enjoyed all the year round. Well folks, thank you for watching this 12 minute walk around video of this lovely Mazda MX-5 of me and I look forward to uh, speaking to you about it soon. Take care.